guys. Good morning. Not really. Good evening. It's 5 o'clock. So, I was just uh, checking in to say hi. It's uh, been kind of a crazy day. I was just dealing with a lot of paperwork and emails and things like that. And just want to say I have the best friends in the whole world whom I love dearly. So, to all of you, <laughs> go there now. Thank you so much. And um, appreciate your support for your prayers for just being generally awesome. They're still messaging <laughs> me. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's what i got to say. And to my new subscribers, who I don't know, thank you so much for subscribing. And um, there will be fun days to come in the next two days. But today's kind of just a low-key. I've just been doing a lot of stuff. i got to get some homework done because my next couple of days are going to be kind of crazy. So, anyway, I hope you all are doing good. Uh, if I find something exciting to vlog, I will. Okay, so one of my favorite things during, well, not even during fall, just any time, is um, spaghetti squash. And I love to use it for, in place of noodles, it's just a great side dish. But um, one of the things I found on Pinterest, and I know somebody was talking about making spaghetti squashes, um, you can't just cut it in half. Don't cut it long ways on the bias because then you cut all the strands. But if you cut, do it in a circle like this, then you can actually pull all of the strands out. I'm going to see if I can get it to, oh, let me do it again. Okay, hi. So here is the spaghetti squash, and if you you can just put, slide the fork around it like this, and it'll actually like all the strands will start to come out by itself, and it'll actually leave it just like spaghetti. You'll have nice long strands. And truthfully, like what I do is after I make all this, because this is way more than we'll ever eat right now, but I make it and then throw it in the freezer, and it is wonderful and. I just went through a whole entire spiel <laughs> for like three minutes and just realized it wasn't recording. That's the problem with this camera because I have no idea whether it's recording or not. So I'm just talking and talking and all of a sudden the little lens goes in. So let me encapsulate for you. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't get to record anything else for today. Tomorrow should be a great day. Lord willing, please, it will be a much better day than the last two days have been. It's been kind of crazy. Um, the highlight of which was dealing with my cable company um, because the bottom line is there's an issue with the wires in my, my apartment and so when they came to install the cable they upgraded me from basic cable to standard to be able to compensate for the fact that out of the 21 channels that I have I could only actually get 11 and, or I, 11 of those were not working out of the 21 oh I guess it would be pretty much okay 22 whatever math <laughs> anyway, the 10 journals that I got were, um, they were all pixelated and crazy. So to compensate for it, they were like, oh, it's okay. We'll just upgrade her to standard, but make sure when the bill comes in to check it. And you know how the story goes. Um, my $94.61 bill that I was supposed to get for this month was $288.46. So I called the other day and was like, what have you done? And they took it directly out of my account because I'm on auto pay. And I was like, you do not have authority to take this. That needs to be returned now. So the lady was really great. It was on the phone with her for an hour, whatever. They got that squared away. And then today at 7.45, just as I was getting dinner prepared, excuse me, the, um, I get an email saying, hey, your bill's ready. <laughs> so I go on and open my bill, and it's $308. I was like, What? So I called and was on the phone with Bright House again. The name of the com cable company is Bright House. It is insane. If you are anywhere in the central Florida area or moving to Orlando and are watching this vlog, which I pray you do before you move here, do not get Bright House. I have had nothing but issues with them from the very beginning. And if anybody is out there from Bright House, I apologize if you do a great job. Their customer service people are wonderful. It is the most incompetent company I've ever seen in my life. And I've had AT&T for almost 15 years, 12 years, I guess, and loved them. They were just awesome, and, and even if I had issues, they resolved things pretty quickly, but this is just insane. I've never seen anything like this. So after being on the phone for an hour, the guy was like, well, here's what I can do. Um, we can give you a discount of $131, and I'm like, that's not a discount, no. And I'm like, okay, let's just be clear. If you went to a restaurant and you ordered 
a meal, and they say, let's say you ordered a ribeye, and they say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have ribeye, but we'll give you a filet instead to be able to compensate for the fact that we don't have what you want or can't give you what you want, um, no problem, and just make sure when your bill comes, it's the same price. And then your bill comes, and they're charging you for the full filet, and they come back and say, well, I'm sorry, we're no longer offering that special, so you're going to have to pay the full price. How is that a thing? That's not, that's, no, that can't happen. So, no, I refuse to pay any more than what I was told, which is noted on my account because he told me. And he said, well, the problem is there's nothing here about the fact that because the cable wasn't working, they upgraded you to standard, but you still were paying the basic price. I'm like, then call the tech two technicians that were here and the lady who was doing, the, who authorized it. So anyway, really nice guy, and he's like, I told, he goes, believe me. He goes, sorry, let me be honest with you. Totally get that. And he's like, I totally, I promise I understand your frustration. There is literally nothing I can do here. And he was like, I suggest you write an email and send it to our contact us and tell them because that's corporate. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So the rest of my night was writing a three-page letter to corporate telling them, from the very first contact I've had with them, every experience I've had until now, which is three pages long. It is now, what, October 13th, and I had this installed um, the first time on July 18th. That doesn't sound like a very good track record to me, but that's just me. So hopefully it'll get resolved and this doesn't have to go to business, Better Business Bureau, but if it's not, I will. Um, so, yeah, so that's why it's just I'm very exhausted. I'm very tired. I'm looking forward to a couple of really fun days. And, um, yeah, so no matter what, <laughs> it's getting harder to keep that smile, but it is all part of the plan. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.